Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. What we are going to talk about in this video is port security, specifically in, with switches, specifically with the Grandstream switches. So we're going to head over to the switch and we're going to take a look at it. We're going to talk about it and talk about when we're going to use it, what it does. So here we are. We're at the Grand Stream switch. We're under the security tab. So after you log in, you go to security, go to port security. Now, for port security to work, the first thing you have to do is you have to allow it. So, and I don't think that this okay is for that. I'll push it and see what it says, but I'm uh, thinking I'm going to have to click save up here. Always click all the blue save things when it comes to Grand Stream, just in case. Okay, and you can see we've got all of our ports down here. And then over here we have a list of secure MAC addresses. So in a lot of switch brands, you have port security and uh, you're going to see similar modes to this. You're going to see switches acting very similar to this. So a lot of these concepts are going to uh, carry over from brand to brand to brand. So here we are, port security. We've got it disabled, and I think I'm on, uh, let's go to overview, port info here real quick. So we've got port two and port four turned on. So we're not going to mess with those. Uh, you, you should always play with port security in the lab, figure it out, um, and then deploy it in production, just like anything else where you can lock yourself out of equipment. It can happen. So here we are, port security. We've allowed it. We've got secure MAC addresses. So we're going to talk about that in just a second. But let's take a look at port one because we're not using that. Remember, we're using two and four. Holy cow. Yeah, we're using two and four. The numbering on that's got me, got me a little messed up. So we're going to look at port one. So you can edit multiple ports by highlighting them and hitting edit, or you can edit one port at a time. Now, uh, what we can do here is say port secure addresses. And we're going to talk about what, what that is. Then the max number of allowed MAC addresses. So if you've got one device plugged into that port, you would leave one as the number of allowed MAC addresses. If you're only supposed to have one device in that port, you're going to leave it at one. If you've got two devices, so a phone and a computer, that's two devices. If you have a phone and then a five port switch, that's going to be Five devices. You got the uplink, right? You lose a port on the switch for the uplink. So that'd be five MAC addresses. In this case, we're going to leave it as one. Now, if we select sticky MAC address, what is going to happen is the first MAC address that traverses the port is going to go into the secure MAC addresses list. So I'm going to turn that on. Then for port protection, we have protect, restrict, and shutdown. And what those are, so protect, what it's going to do is it's not going to alert us to anything. It is going to discard packets on that port that are not from a source that we've either added manually. So watch this. When I, when I go back over here, when I go to secure MAC addresses, we can add a MAC. So we could add it in manually, like I could add the Mac of this map light and tell it if it's on a different VLAN, but then select the port. So we could specify a static Mac address for that port. Sticky is going to take the first Mac address that traverses the port and stick it in the secure Mac addresses. And then that is all that's going to be able to talk on that port. Under protect, what we're going to do, we're not going to get an alert. We're just going to discard packets on that port that are not from 
the MAC address specified for that port. Then our other option is restrict. And what restrict is going to do is it's also going to discard packets, but we're going to get a notification. Then the third option is shutdown. And what it's going to do is it's going to error disable the port, which means it's going to literally shut the port off until an administrator logs in and you'll get a notification, but until an administrator logs in and re-enables the port. So it is an admin down disable. And a lot of time that's, that's what we use, right? Sometimes if you use restrict, if you want to get a notification, there's been some shenanigans or whatever, you can do that. I use the shutdown option, but we're going to leave this on protect. We're going to do a sticky Mac address. I'm going to plug something into that port number one. Hold on just a second. Okay, so I have grabbed my handy dandy grand stream camera and I've got the MAC address here. We'll look at that here in a second, but I have that plugged into a uh, port number one. And you can see we, uh, for some reason, it's 10 megs, half duplex. Don't think that that's right. It should be actually uh, 100 megabits. Uh, but you know what? I might have. <laughs> When we were messing around with the ports, I may have set that on that port. So disregard that. But let's go back to, um, all right, so the camera, I think, is on. But the port says it's off. So let's see what's going on with that real quick. They don't have, uh, let's see. Hold, please. You are totally not going to believe this. <laughs> but my grand stream camera died. I think it died. I've had it for years uh, and it gets plugged, unplugged and it gets tortured in the lab. So yeah, but here is my Synology camera plugged into the same port. You can see we've got a um, hundred megabits. So now we're going to come back down here to security port security. And now you can see under max number allowed of Mac addresses. We've got one total number of MAC addresses is one. Um, and then you can see it automatically inserted the MAC address of my Synology camera as a secure MAC address. So if I were to now switch this to something else, because this was the first MAC address that traversed the port, now it's going to discard those. Um, here's another thing we can do. So I'll show you the other one. So we're going to edit this port and we are we're going to change our port protection to shutdown. And I'm going to say, okay, and I'm going to save it. So now I have the Synology camera on this port. We saw the secure Mac address here. So now what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and plug in this map light. Um, so map light into the cable. The power light is coming on temporarily. We've got ethernet activity and now we just have power. We have no ethernet. So if we go back to our port security, let's refresh this and let this come up here. Uh, let's actually, let's go to overview port info. And now you can see that this port status is down. Now, if we go to system info, we should have a critical here. And we, you can see right here, it's a critical. It is a port security violation. Security violation occurred caused by the MAC address on this. And so it shut the port down. Port security just did its job. And so port security is awesome. We use it a lot. Uh, we also disable ports. We physically block ports and things like that. If you've got questions about this from manufacturer to manufacturer, let me know. This is going to be in an upcoming uh, building networks training where we're going to go over this hands on. So if you're interested in that, make sure you're filling out the training interest form down below. 
And uh, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you'd like to support the channel, our affiliate links are down below and our Patreon link. And as always, if you need IT consulting, you need to set up a network, design a network, security, storage, voice over IP, whatever it is, or reach out at willyhow.com. Click hire us or contact us. Fill that information out and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. Once again, I'm Willie. Don't forget to uh, re-enable your port. So real quick, let's go to switching, basic port settings, and let's see what we've got to do here. The port is, uh, should be now enabled, but come back for more switching videos and let me know down in the comments if you need anything else. Once again, I'm Willie. Thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.